Boop. Happy rainy Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Um, we're back for another installment of, John, of Wesley Center's Daily Bible Readings, or the Wesley's Daily Bible Readings. Um, today's list of daily Bible readings comes to us from Psalm 99, 1 Kings 8, 54 through 65, and John 3, 31 through 36. Um, but today, I pretty much want to focus on John 3, 31 through 36 for today's Bible reading. Uh, so this section is actually uh, the, the words of John the Baptist to his disciples. Because what we miss out on that was cut out from this section is this is a conversation that John is having with his disciples because they have come to him and um, they're kind of concerned about this dude Jesus that used to walk with them, that used to run around with them, um, that is now out there doing everything that they do. Um, hello, that's our gig, you know, that's our thing, you can't be copying us, and so they come to John and they say, Rabbi, look, this, they say, they say you know, um, the man who was with you, they don't even name him, they just say, the man who was with you uh, is baptizing everyone, and, and everybody's flocking to him. The exact text is, and this is from the CEB, they say, Rabbi, look, the man who was with you across the Jordan the one about whom you testified, interesting, they get that, but they're somehow scandalized by the fact that he's baptizing them, um, is baptizing and everyone is flocking to him. And I guess maybe, you know, they they got to looking at their year-end statistics, you know, they had pulled up the dashboard and checked attendance, you know, I don't know, maybe their YouTube feed wasn't streaming like it was supposed to, or their, you know, the you know, the, the likes and everything on Twitter were down. And so, uh, and they, they realized it's because this guy that, you know, who had been with John is now out doing John's thing. Um, and they're just scandalized by this. Now, before we were rushed to judgment uh, on John's disciples about this, um, we need to remember that Jesus' disciples do the very same thing. They get their noses bent out of joint because there's some dude who's not one of them or a part of them who's out casting out demons and doing good works in Jesus's name, right? And Jesus kind of has to set them straight about that. And so John's, you know, at a crossroads. It This is a thing where he could have, he could have made things horrible and, and much worse, but John got what his job was. He got his, the point of his life and his calling. Uh, John responds to them and he says, you know, that this isn't just some man, um, which, like I said, it's interesting because the disciples of John get that John, they, they were there. They know that John testified to Jesus as being the one that they should follow, the one that everybody should follow. John says, you know, this is the one I've been preaching about. You know, I'm just baptizing you with water, but he will baptize you with, the, with fire and the Holy Spirit. It's not like they were ignorant of that. They knew it. And John has to remind them. Um, he says, goes on in this section 31 through 36, he says, you know, basically, he's not just some man. Um, and he points out that while he is of this world, John himself is of this world, came out of this world, from this world, he tells them that Jesus is of heaven, right? That Jesus has been sent by God the Father, um, and that because of that, he is above all, including John, and definitely including John's followers, which is probably a horrible thing for them to hear. Um, because they have, I guess, tied their identity, their being, their view of their own self-importance to John's importance. And now John is telling them, hey, I'm below him. Um, so, and then he goes on to say that, uh, that he says, Right before this section starts, he says, "I must. He must increase, and I must decrease." And that's in uh, verse thirty. John understands his role. Um, it, his role is not to start another sect um, or to, you know, be some kind of big thing on his own. His job is to point the way to the Messiah and to the kingdom of God. That's what he understands. His job is is to be that's what his point in life is and that and he was fairly honest from what we can tell from the testimony of scripture the whole time about that he accepts the testimony of jesus 
as a revelation from God. And accepting that testimony, he tells his disciples, is a witness to the very truth of God. Um, you know, he says, he testifies to what he has seen and heard, that is Jesus, yet no one accepts his testimony. But then he says in verse 33, whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. So John understands that his role is to point the way to Jesus as the Messiah and consequently point the people to the way that leads to the kingdom of God, to being to this incredible presence of God that's coming into the world. And that to accept the testimony of Jesus is to accept the truth of God. It's the true word of God. Um, so John wasn't trying to make a name for himself. That's part of what I think he's trying to get his disciples to understand here. He's he's fine with the fact that people are no longer listening devoutly to him, that they are following Jesus, because that was his whole point in the first place. He wasn't trying to make a name for himself. He was making a way for God. Uh, that was his focus, and that was his identity, and he knew it needed to belong to his disciples as well, that they needed to get that. They needed to understand that. So, John got it. John got that it wasn't about him. You know, it's like we, we talked about yesterday that, you know, that we uh, kind of serve in a way that shows that it's not about us. John knew it wasn't about him. He knew it wasn't about him making a name for himself. He knew it was about making a name for God. I guess the question we have after reading this and, and looking at that is, if John got it, why can't we? So anyway, that's Daily Bible Reading for today, and we will see you tomorrow for Thursday. Have a good day. Boop.